asked. Thank you for the question you have asked. Indeed, uh, it is a tradition that was begun by His Excellency Governor Professor Japuani to have nominated uh, a woman to be his deputy governor. However, the, the law does not provide that you must pick any person from this other gender. In any case, when you're talking about deputy governor, you're talking about competence, you're looking into the, the goodwill to deliver for the great people of Kericho County. It is not about gender, but it's about the capacity. And I believe my great friend here, Engineer Fred, has a wonderful and enormous intervention. You walk around town and you see the map. No, none of us politicians did a poster with a great map of water. So these are abundance of brain that we have around here. As to how we'll capture the gender equation in this uh, government, we county government belongs to the people of Kericho. We have created key, key positions like the county secretary, the chief of staff, the speaker of the assembly, the CECs, the chair of the public service, and all that. But us as a team, we are also committed just to say this, that we'll make sure even in our cabinet, we will adhere to the gender rule, and you will even see more women participating actively as cabinet, uh, as CECs and CEOs in, in our government. You will even see more women uh, in nominated positions to the assembly where governor has the prerogative of nominating women. We believe so much that women...